And now, a moment for our sponsors. Yep, play well, do well, and support everything else. And Instagram as well. You guys don't do Instagram, but I don't think so yet. Hey, your call if you want to describe more or make more building things. Like all the description of company wear. Why not? Oh, snapshots too. Welcome back to Drew Persona Persona Chat. We are truly Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. The Arena Ultimax story still continues. And now we are, we're going through the story mode as much as possible. We have some cutscenes you got in my box and it goes pretty well. You don't have to get 100% from each of them. If you guys really want to, follow me and be my guest. Or, or, you know, the other different suggestions doing anything in you know, the story in this game. That's fine too. Anyways, time to do Yukiko Story! Hi, Yukiko. My cell phone remains unresponsive, and the shopping district is still unemployed in the red frog. What General Teddy said on the Midnight Channel is true. On a hunch that this is a continuation from last time. I dashed out of the inn and, I, and ran to the shopping district, but what I saw there were two kanji coons. Wait, two kanji... Oh, son of a bitch! We just start off this episode, one of them we already know our badass, fundable, kanji, kick-ass guy, and it's fake shadow. Oh, you guys know what this means, right? Yep. I dropped my gaze and sight before I'm looking back at the two kanji coons, who seem to be having a silent stare down if it looks could kill. Hey, kanji-kun. What's up, Yukiko-senpai? What's up, Yukiko-senpai? Look, you bastard, don't go bothering Yukiko-senpai. What? You're the one bothering her, you imposter. What was that? I'm the real one. Bullshit, you don't look anything like me, damn it! Reminds me that you have a show up so with Yana. Oh, uh, the chapter Black Sun is my favorite. Yana has a copy ability to can have memories of the same person and type of power, etc. to be exactly like if he or she. Oh, it was something else. Check it out. Actually, these two look like they're getting along pretty well. I'm starting to think that I could just leave them here. You little! Then try this, goddammit! Tell me exactly how old I was when I last went to bed. Oh, it was when you were in second grade, right? You're not helping! It was supposed to be the faker! Why do you know that? <laughs> Why do you know that? Hmm? Your mother told me once. A mother should never tell a child that kind of thing to his friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have any more time to waste. Oh, I know. What if we say the one who can summon his persona is the real one? Uh... That's easier said and done. But that's impossible. It's not like we're inside the TV right now. Uh, unfortunately. Ha! You're giving up before even trying? You dare call yourself the real me? When you put your guts into it, summoning a persona is no big deal at all. Ah, persona! Oh, it worked. What? Seriously? How's that, Yukiko-senpai? Now you know I'm the real one. Oh, no, you don't, you bastard! If you can do it, so can I! Come on out! Persona! Whoa! That actually worked! Hey, what are you copying me for, damn it? What? You're the one copying me! Uh, is that a real realized idea? That sounds like a great idea. Uh -oh. Yuki-chan! Teddy, what 
Daddy. Hmm? That voice. When I look towards the fog, when, where the familiar voice comes from, a familiar looking round shadow is approaching me. Could that be a shadow? Persona! No, that's Teddy Stop! Ah! Why? How cruel! I'm your precious teddy bear! Wait, Teddy? No. You see, lost it, but this is indeed Teddy, so I can't tell if he's the real one or not. Yuki chan! You were thinking I might be an imposter, were you? Hmm? Well, maybe a little. Uh, so mean! Just take a look at my fur! It's apparent that I'm the real Teddy! See? So cruel! I mean, I can't tell if you're the real one or not. I keep telling you I am! I just beat the fake me a minute ago! That's true, he did. I want to believe you, but I'm already having a hard time telling which of these two is which. Teddy, maybe your nose can warp. Can it try? You just need to use the power of love to tell them apart. Uh, that, 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 that's not a good enough. Huh? You can tell the difference? Of course I can! My love for you would never, ever be fooled by a fake. Hmm, then can I leave this to you? Huh? Leave what to me? Teddy, perfect timing. You know I'm the real one, right? Come on, Teddy. Ah! A double serving of kanji? So these were the two things I was sensing near Yuki-chan. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's why I'll leave it to your love to tell them apart. Uh, you're missing the point. He was trying to score with you again? Impossible! I'm completely, totally vetoing this idea! I mean, there's no love involved! The hell did you just say? You should be able to at least tell the difference, damn it! Ah! Both of those sound like things Kanji would say! So that's the limit of your love for Kanji -kun. Um, can we just say that they're both fake? Okay. That's what it comes down to in the end, right? What? Why are you listening to him? Would that be bad? Of course it would. Assuming that from the start, it's pretty messed up. Oh, I know. Could you use your nose to figure this out, Teddy? Thank you! Hmm. I wish I could, but this red fog is getting in the way. My nose is no use right now. Wait, does that mean you're a fake after all? Not at all! There's a good, complicated reason for it! Hey, Ted! Just do something and tell us apart, damn it! Yeah, you moron! I'm disappointed in you! Can you do something cute ways for the first kanji that's the real one to respond quickly before the other one? Ah, two kanjis are worse than one! Okay, Teddy, stay still, concentrate, and... Got two! Oh, whoops! My nose got stuffed up! It's done tight. What?! Even Teddy can't tell them apart? We'll never make any process at this rate. What else can we try? Jeez, what a useless bear. You say that, but I bet you're actually pretty relieved. What did you say? You're the one breathing easier, asshole. What was that? I'll take your punk ass down! Out of space and theater and with squabbling, I think desperately of a poor plan. As soon as I get an idea, I whisper to Teddy, Mm, this might work. Ooh, good idea, Yuki-chan. Well then, let's bring it on. People of Inaba, welcome. It's time for Who's the Best Inaba Resident? Oh, no. Huh? What the? Where's this music coming from? Question number one. How many stories is Yasogami High School's classroom building? Are you really doing this? No, it's three stories. You, you bastard! It was my turn to answer! Correct! Now on to question number two.
every day is Customer Appreciation Day at the supermarket Juness. How many stories does it have? T two stories! Correct! Now for question number three. From Shiroku store, how many buildings away is the Moel gas station? Uh, um, it's, uh, uh, four buildings. Correct! Number four. Take the sum of the numbers in the answer so far. Multiply by eight and divide that what? by three. What do you get? Huh? Um, uh, wait, what does that have to do with being an Inaba resident? Oh, yeah, no kidding. Too easy. It's 24. Oh. Correct again. And? You're the culprit. Ha! That figures. Teddy and I literally point to the Kantiku and answer correctly with a four word. Yeah, because the real kanji is not as bright as it seems. Sorry, Kanji, still love you. Thank goodness. Surprisingly, as it seems, the plan worked. I really didn't think it would be this easy. What? How do you figure? I was right. You take 3 plus 2 plus 4, multiply that by 8, and divide by 3, and that's 24. Ah, ah, ah. You don't get it. There's no way Kanji could do math like that. Heck, he can hardly do basic arithmetic. Therefore, you're the fake. He was even dumber than I imagined. He's so stupid that I ended up playing around. Huh? You picking a fight with me? Yeah, that's the real fun, right there. Uh, I'm sorry for treating you like an idiot, Kanji Kun, but it was all I could come up with. And the plan did confirm you as a real one, so. I'm glad we figured it out, real Kanji Kun. Yeah, but come on, what kind of way was that to tell us apart? But it would be the other way around if we didn't know. I mean, you're you're not you're not reckless in battle. You're just not clear-minded. That's all I could say. <laughs> Don't worry. No one would be shocked at this point. You making fun of me or trying to cheer me up? How long are you gonna keep this up, damn it? Just because my cover's been blown doesn't mean that's the end. It's time for the real reason I'm here. All right, bring on. Go back, go back, go back! <gasps> ah! uh, here we go. As soon as the fake Kanji can cries out, four pillars all fall all around him. They slam into the ground and with a heavy sound and give off a dull light, like a single in the fog covered town. At this the same time, the fake Kanji can be called down, the pillars suddenly start gravitating for some reason. The way she's talking out. Ah! This again? Kanji seems dangerous! Yep, so of the clone. Now let's get this full on muscle on muscle battle going! I can't wait to get you in a hole. Which way? This bastard again. A full on battle, huh? Fine, you're on! That didn't make them any less overblown. Can we just leave these two here? Uh. Yuki-chan, your inner thoughts are leaking out. Oh? I'm totally okay with me, you know. You could just stay here. But you can't go on unless you beat me raw. Well, that'd be trouble for you. Okay, stop talking like that. Huh? Is that true, Teddy? It seems like it. When those red pillars glow, it makes these invisible walls, just like the last P1 Grand Prix. That's, That's right. right! Until someone takes me to heaven, none of you are going anywhere. I'll do it then. I need a refresher. Whoa, hold it! That's my shadow. I can deal with my own crap. Auntie, stay out of this. I'm gonna pass! It's too early for me to step into that world! Huh? Damn it, Teddy! I told you that's not how I am! Yeah, <laughs> no. Well, then let's decide with rock, paper, scissors. That's fair, right? Yeah, with that. <sighs> Look, I can understand the whole situation taking the right path, but I'm gonna still choose you, so. <laughs> Yugi Go versus Kanji Shadow! Hey, her story, her thing. I didn't take the right choice. Okay. Hush! 
She deserves the war. She got the plan figured out. Teddy assists to her till I say thank you, Teddy. And Kanji, I promise I'll use you in the next story mode. And then, you know, open Okay, I'll give you credit there too. That's the kanji we all know and love. <laughs> so good! I'm totally satisfied with this amazing session. I'm gonna kick you to nuts! Cause it's too late now. You've totally fallen for our plan! Whoa, what the hell? No way! Kanji could melted! Uh, Yukiko Senpai, that's the fake. What he watches is surprised as the fake Kanji can completely melt. And then what looks like golden powder powder comes flying out of the puddle. The powder shimmers a bit before it mixes mixes with the fog and vanishes into the sky. Wait, does this mean that wasn't my shadow? I seriously thought that part of me was coming back for more. Oh, nope. General Teddy made that fake by kneading up a chunk of a shadow. Seriously? Then all we had to do from the start was beat the crap out of it. Uh, that's not my fault. You two were the ones getting all up in each other's faces. Hey, Teddy, could that General Teddy be the culprit after all? Wouldn't that make him the one behind Labrys' problems, too? Um, I don't really know about that. Who is that General Teddy anyway? All I know is that he's an imposter of mine. Huh? If you don't know, then there's no way we'd know. But if he can do this to our town, then he's not an ordinary person. You got that right. Didn't they say he brainwashed the hijackers when Labrys got kidnapped? Yep. Indeed, for the scandal. Even if the call perhaps to be like a like us, covering the whole town in red fog and green face of us. The shadows is beyond what normal people can do. I'm sure there must be something bigger working behind it, this case. And that's not all. There's one other thing I noticed. It happened to me too, but when Yuki-chan and Kanji were fighting the fakes, tons of these shiny things were flying out. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, shiny things? Oh, I think I know. That's what we saw when the fake Kanji-kun was melting too, right? Yep, you got it. That stuff never used to come out when we fought. What could it be? Yeah, what could it be? Hmm, good question. Also, how should I put this? It seems like fighting in this fog is tiring everyone out faster than usual. Huh? Yeah, now that you mention it. It's like when we would go into the TV world without Teddy's glasses. Huh? That reminds me. Yeah, yeah. We haven't tested out the glasses. If you need them, I have some right here. No, that's okay. It's true that I can't see very far, but I can still see where I'm going. And the exhaustion comes more when the fighting ends, not during the battle. Yeah. So, what does that mean? When those shiny things come out after a fight, we get really tired? Jeez, you really are stupid, aren't you, Kanji? The shiny things and getting tired are two separate things. Yeah. So what then? This is all because you suck at explaining shit. Teddy and Kanji can begin their squabble. They really are good friends, aren't they? But something Kanji could have said catches my attention and I start to conjure a few things. Kanji could have been conjecture. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now's not the time for this. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what did you just... <laughs> you 
Yukiko-senpai? Has Yuki-chan lost it? No. You're right. Sorry. This is nothing. <laughs> uh, he does so no. Hey, you there. Me? I can't craft up now. I take a deep breath before looking back at Teddy and Kanji. Uh, um, I was thinking that Kanji-kun might have been right just now. Huh? What'd I say? I know, I know, I remember! He said that when the shiny things come out, you get tired. Right. I thought that actually could be the case. Huh. I don't really get it. What do you mean? Well, could it be that that's what the culprit is really after? He's making us fight, getting those shiny things to come out, and... Uh, uh, what would he want with them? No! You totally had us going, Yuki-chan. Um, yeah. So, you didn't figure out the important part? Uh, is his goal just to make us tired? Hmm, I don't know. Hmm, what could this all mean? I, I wish I could concentrate and think, but this fog is just so... Bless you. Ah, gross, Ted! Sorry, it's just that this red fog keeps violently irritating my nose. Oh! What? Huh? What is it? I did notice something about those shiny thingies. Really? Mm -hmm. What? Those shiny thingies have all been flying towards Sensei in your school on the hill. When I fought General Teddy earlier, he told me to head to the school, too. Something smells fishy about that place. So what's the deal? If you knew something, why didn't you spit it out before? Want to sneeze on you again? Well, let's go there. If the others noticed it too, I'm sure they're on their way already. Teddy, can you lead the way? Leave it to me! You two, follow me! Blair Chu! As Teddy tries to lead the way, he gets in an unexpectedly loud sneeze. Should we really be following him? But we have to trust him for now. He did find Kanji to him in me after all. I let Teddy take the lead, thinking like a cock horn all the way, as we all run together for the other force down the time. Onward! Forward march! Oh not bad, you call it up bad at all! Well, that's done. Napo! That's another one, huh? Erase! Ooh, savey, savey! I need to get two other ones to do. Might as well, right? Uh -huh. Okay, let's do that. We'll do two of these other things next. But yeah, you can go. That's bad to find out who the real Kanji was from the faker, huh? Oh, Teddy helped out a bit. So we'll give him credit for it, too. Kanji's supporting her. Alright, well, I don't know about you, but we have to go one way to the school where you, your team, TA are at somewhere. We're showing that he's a dynasty. Yikes. Yeah, you talk about bad habits to meet up. So, till next time, for something that's out there, and Persona 4 will be the ultimate. Race back. Promise.